Good morning. If you saw our last video, you know that we just picked up our new F2114 Alto trailer by Safari Condo and made our way to Deception Pass State Park in Washington State. So we've only stayed in the trailer for one night, but we did sleep nine hours, which is pretty solid. Yes. Uh, so we don't feel comfortable giving you a full blown tour because we don't know the trailer quite well just yet, but we thought it would be good to give you kind of a first impression, sort of initial walkthrough. Yeah, but uh, first, when we pulled in last night, we saw a tiny little coffee trailer, which are pretty popular here in Washington. So we're gonna walk to the front of our campground. Hopefully they're open. We'll get some lattes and we'll see you back at the trailer. Nice and caffeinated. So if you watched the first video that we uploaded to this channel, we did a full walkthrough tour of the Alto R1723. It's a 17 foot trailer uh, made by Safari Condo that has a retractable roof. And when the roof is raised up, you get these beautiful panoramic views through windows uh, that are along the roof line. And when collapsed, the trailer is short enough to fit into most standard garages. So our initial first impressions of this trailer is that really there's pros and cons that kind of fall into two different buckets as compared to the retractable roof trailer. So for one, you get four extra feet. This one's 21 and the retractable roof is a 17 foot trailer. And the second difference is that obviously the retractable roof one has a retractable roof, whereas this has a fixed roof. So first, let's give you some of our impressions on the difference in length. One of the first things you'll notice that this additional four feet gives you is this huge dining table. Not only can it accommodate more people, up to four diners when it's in the table configuration, but it also folds down and becomes a queen size bed as opposed to just a twin bed in the retractable roof. Another benefit of this trailer is that you can poop with the window open. <laughs> Another huge benefit that the additional four feet of this trailer offers is a larger enclosed bathroom. Because the roof of our retractable Alto goes up and down, the walls can't extend all the way up, meaning the only privacy that you get when you're using the toilet is the wraparound shower curtain. So after spending about 150 nights in our trailer last year, can confirm you need to be pretty comfortable with the people that you're sharing your trailer with because you hear some things. Can you beat this window? The next big benefit that you'll notice is that there's more counter space in this 21 foot trailer. In the retractable roof version, we've made lots of good meals, but you do have to be a little bit more creative about your counter space. For example, we wind up using the dining table to chop our veggies and do other types of meal prep. Whereas here, you at least have some usable counter space to do your cooking. And the last noticeable difference with the 21 foot trailer is parking and campsite reservations. We noticed yesterday when we were trying to park at a grocery store that it was a little bit harder to fit in some spots with the trailer in tow and we had to get creative with parking near the back of the lot. Additionally, we've discovered that a lot of campsites are reserved to 20 feet in length and obviously this is just a little over that so you might have to get more creative or book a little bit early to make sure that you can get a camp spot that accommodates your 21 foot trailer. Now let's talk about some of the differences between the fixed roof versus the retractable roof trailers. With our retractable roof trailer, the roof obviously goes up and down, which means you can't have any cabinets along the ceiling line. That's obviously not the case with this trailer, and because of that, it has a ton of cabinets that wrap around the bed area, giving us a ton more storage than we had previously, which has been very convenient. So the extra storage isn't just limited to the cabinets, you also get this huge refrigerator. In our retractable roof trailer, you could store about a week's worth of groceries in the refrigerator. In this one, that easily doubles. Plus, we're kind of obsessed with this refrigerator because it opens on both sides. So all of the windows in this trailer are really cool. They clamshell to open, they've got built-in screens and cellular blinds. Because this is a fixed roof model, it doesn't have those really awesome panoramic windows like we had in our retractable trailer. Admittedly, we were a little sad this morning when we woke up and we couldn't pull back some blinds to see huge panoramic windows with the Pacific Northwest forest line. However, we're pretty excited to see how this trailer handles by comparison in hotter months because 
Our retractable Alto was effectively a greenhouse. So there's a couple other advantages of having the fixed roof trailer. Within the retractable roof trailer, because it goes up and down, nothing within those trailers can really be fixed above chest height. Here with this one, we have some cool add-ons like this screen door and the awning outside. While there is an awning that you can get for the retractable roof trailer, the roof is curved, so you basically manually have to put it on and it feels like you're wrestling with 60 foot of heavy fabric. It's pretty challenging and we found ourselves not really using it that much because it was such a pain to put on. Another huge difference is that the fixed roof models offer up to three times as much storage that's accessible from the outside of the trailer. The reason why the retractable roof models don't have any storage cubbies in the back is because the roof collapses and the glass walls would effectively block any access to any storage compartments. So we wanted to leave you with some last first impressions that we have. One of the things that we love is that the orientation of where the bathroom and the kitchen is are flipped in this one so that the kitchen is actually on the passenger side by the front yard, if you will. We love this because the window now faces out to your front yard. This would be awesome for families where parents can watch the kids out the window. We think it would be super fun to have friends outside the trailer where you can pass food back and forth, beers back and forth. It just kind of makes it feel like the outside living space is a little bit more useful and we're really excited to try it out. Another thing that I love about this F2114 that we don't have in our retractable Alto is the fact that the table can be removed from the dining room and be hooked directly to the exterior wall of the trailer so that you can have some outdoor table space that's right up under the awning. The last first impression that we wanted to leave you with is that we think that this trailer is probably a little better suited for those who want a full time as opposed to a retractable roof trailer. We spent a lot of last year in our retractable roof trailer. Even as minimalists, we honestly struggled a bit with the limited storage space. Here, with the extra storage and the more usable outdoor space, I think this is probably a better choice if you're considering full-timing in your trailer. We want to get to know this trailer a little bit better before we give you a more comprehensive tour. So again, this is just our first initial thoughts, and I'm really interested to see how our impressions change over the next month or two. Thanks so much for watching this first impressions video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section below. And if you found this video to be informative, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button. If you wanna follow along with our future adventures in this trailer, hit the subscribe button. And otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.